Hi everyone, Elise Keller here from Rise Thrive Soar and Rise Canna Coaching. We're going to talk today about um, the Rick Simpson protocol, um, Rick Simpson oil, and if that's an appropriate treatment um, or protocol to follow for people with breast cancer. That's a question that I get a lot. It's a question a lot that my colleagues get. Um, so let's go over that one. Uh, when I first started uh, using cannabis during my breast cancer treatment, this was one of the very first things that I came across was the Rick Simpson oil protocol. You might've heard of it. Um, it's that thick tar like oil. Um, oftentimes it's measured in grains of rice. So um, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of people who swear that this has healed your cancer. And I will do another talk about if cannabis in fact does kill cancer in another um, episode. But for today, I just want to talk about that particular protocol for breast cancer. So essentially what you're doing when you use the Rick Simpson oil protocol is that you're using a super concentrated amount of THC. They do advocate for high amounts of THC. Um, and when you get up to what's called a gram a day, is maybe what you've heard of, um, what starts to happen is you're getting about 700, 600 milligrams of THC um, or cannabinoids at the very least into your system at once. Now for most people, most women, um, this protocol is not ideal. It doesn't account for weight, it doesn't account for age, it doesn't account for any of the other medications that you're on. Um, so it's very important to be aware of that. There are people online who have claimed this has helped their breast cancer and um, you know, I don't wanna talk against that in any possible way, but as a general rule and from a safety standpoint and from a general well-being standpoint, that amount of THC is not um, something that's gonna make you feel good. And that's an important part of your healing journey is to be able to feel good. So how cannabis can really help is by using smaller amounts. And they've found that amounts as low as 25, 30 milligrams per day of THC is effective um, as uh, a treatment alongside conventional, um, conventional treatment for breast cancer. So I urge you to consider starting small. Don't worry about getting up to a huge amount of cannabis um, or getting anywhere near to a gram a day, that's gonna make you feel, for the most part, if you're like most women, you're gonna feel probably just really not good, anxious, heart palpitations, and that's not what we want during our healing journey. So do stay away from the Rick Simpson protocol as a general rule if you're looking to treat your breast cancer um, alongside conventional therapy or not. Um, and I will do another, uh, another video on what you should do instead, but this is really kind of just my public service announcement to say, don't use Rick Simpson protocol for breast cancer. It's not appropriate. It's not the right treatment. Um, and if you have any questions at all, just comment below. And remember to uh, subscribe to my page and you'll be able to get more updates going forward, okay? And um, if you have any ideas about questions that you've had that you'd like to have answered on this um, YouTube channel, just also post them in the questions and the comments below. Okay, bye-bye.